did Funko just give us the bird? Welcome to the Gasselcast. I'm Chris. I'm Heather. Well, in this episode, we're going to talk about those SDCC 2020 previews that we got. But most importantly, the whole bird situation. Bird up. Hello. I think you already know what bird situation we're talking about. It's that toucan bird. The toucan is the mascot for SDCC. So it's not surprising that we got another variant of the bird. From what we know, two of the variants are going to be very easy to get. But there is one that's going to take at least $500 for you to obtain. So it looks like the easier ones to get is the astronaut in white, the Superman version of the bird. So several Funko Pop news outlets reported that to obtain this 1000 piece bird, you're gonna have to have a membership at the Comic-Con Museum. But not just any membership, you have to have tier four or tier five. So there are five tiers. Tier one is $49. Tier two is $50. Tier three is $100. Tier four is $500. And tier five is $1,200 plus dollars. To possibly obtain the red astronaut bird, you have to shell out $500 plus. And that doesn't even guarantee you the pop. There are only 1,000 of these pops made. So that means you're one of 1,000 that has a chance to get this thing if you sign up for the membership. How many memberships are out there? I don't know. I would expect a lot. So on one hand, it's pretty cool. You're donating to the Comic-Con Museum. But on the other hand, you have to spend at least $500 to even have a chance to obtain the Red Astronaut Toucan. Now, in my opinion, I think it would be really cool if all of the people who have spent $500 and more can get this particular Funko Pop. It only makes sense. Why only give a chance? Right now, it seems this is going to be an Instagram. But what's funny is that the Toucan from last year wasn't even that popular. But remember, the Toucan from last year wasn't limited to a thousand pieces. Exactly. And that's what happens. We've talked about this on many occasions. You put a limited number on there and everybody's going to want it. But are they going to want it for 500 plus dollars? That's the big question. So this is going to be interesting to see how this plays out and to find out who really wants it and who actually obtains it. I would suspect that this thing is going to be worth way more than $500 because there are only a thousand of these pieces made. And a lot of people have put in a lot of money in order to try to get this guy. But I have to tell you, I'm really happy they didn't do this with a Marvel Funko Pop because I personally would be very upset. You wouldn't be upset, we would just be very broke. So far, the 1000 piece bird is the only limited Funko Pop to SDCC as far as we know right now. Of course, there could be a lot more announcements later in the week about limited pieces. So my advice to you, if you don't really have 500 or more to spend on a toucan, I would just go after the white toucan and paint it red. That sounds like a great idea, Heather, and it's not going to hit the wallet so hard. Okay, okay, so not all of today was bad news. There were some pretty cool announcements. The Jack in the Box Funko Pop, that looks pretty cool. And the Crunchberry Beast in Funko Pop soda form. There were a lot of other Funko announcements today. I would have to say that my favorite of the day would be the Sonic the Hedgehog 2-pack. I think that one is really cool. I'm going to have to agree with that. I didn't really see anything that I had to have or like too much, and that one's pretty cool. So my final thoughts on the birds? They're just okay. I'm not a fan of the birds. I'm not going to go after them. I don't really care much for them. I didn't care about the one last year, and I definitely don't care about the ones this year. Even if I were a fan, I wouldn't spend $500 plus to get it. I just can't see myself spending that kind of money. I'd rather buy a hot toy or buy a Grail Funko Pop that I've wanted for a very long time. Not a little bird in a red astronaut suit. Not for me. Guys, what do you think about the Toucan Birds for SDCC 2020? Do you think they're cool? Do you think they're lame? Would you pay $500 plus for the red one? We would love to know. Let us know all that and more in the comment section down below. Guys, don't forget we have a 2500 subscriber giveaway going on right now. You're not going to want to miss out on that. And it's for this Luke Skywalker Hot Toys from A New Hope. He is amazing. Light up lightsaber. He has some really cool accessories. You're not going to want to miss out on this guy. Hit that subscribe button and also head over to Instagram and follow us. And you'll find out the most up-to-date information in order to win this guy. All right, remember as always, we hunt together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.